welcome back and welcome to another book versus movie video um these i think these are some of my favorite videos to make as always my um book versus movie videos are spoiler free um and this is just me making my own personal comparison between a book and a movie i am fully aware that the movie is always based on the book the author often has nothing to do with the script once they've signed away the rights they can do what they like with it and i am not here trying to say that the book should be exactly the same as the movie but i enjoy discussing the comparison and i know a lot of you enjoy hearing about the comparison when deciding if you're going to watch the book or see the movie or read the book or both or neither. So that is why I make them just put that disclaimer out there. Today, of course, as you'll have seen from the thumbnail, I am talking about Where Do You Go Bernadette, which is based on the book by Maria Semple. Um, I only recently read this book when I found out that it was going to be made into a movie. I listened to it on audiobook. I borrowed the audiobook from my library. I really recommend the audiobook. I thought it was a really, really good listen. And I will say straight off the back, coming out of the movie theater, which was basically full, um, I heard people saying, well, it wasn't as funny as the book. Um, so it was great that there were other book lovers in the movie theater watching this. It's great when you, it's a busy book to movie adaptation. And I would say that, yeah, my main takeaway from the film was that the film wasn't as funny as the book. I thought the book was funny. The book deals with um, some issues to do with creative minds and mental health and to do with sort of long-term relationships as well and power imbalance and I thought that the film picked out on some of those it focused a lot on the mental health side of it not necessarily as much the creative mind the creative mind stuff was more implied rather than explicitly explained um, and there was a bit of a touch upon um, long-term relationships and power imbalance a bit but again it was more about the character of Bernadette herself and where did she go and the effect that she has on those around her which I thought yes the book is about that but it doesn't mainly focus on it and so that's why the book is a little bit more light-hearted and a little bit funnier I thought that the casting was fantastic. I thought that they cast the characters in this so well. I couldn't imagine anyone else apart from Kate Blanchett playing Bernadette. I thought that they did a really good job of that. Um, unfortunately, when I read the book, I couldn't picture a character in my head because I'd already seen the trailers for the movie. So I'm not impartial there when it comes to that. Um, one of the big differences that became sort of glaringly obvious by the time we reached the final stages of the film was the storyline, the subplot with um, Bernadette's husband and his assistant. His assistant in the book has a much bigger role. Um, we get to see her at work in the film, whereas in the book we only really get to see her talking about being at work. We never see her at work, um, whereas we do get to see her at work as well as at school in the film however i believe that she had a bigger and more pivotal role in the book and i was expecting to see more from her and so when she was kind of introduced as a side character it was fairly minor i was like oh that's an interesting choice but then it became apparent that she wasn't going to have the same storyline word for word as she does in the book i would say that bernadette and her family basically have the exact same storyline as they do in the book. A lot of the dialogue felt like it was taken word for word from the book. Um, but as I said, the, generally when I make these videos, I talk about whether the film has elicited the same feelings and the same general kind of mood and tone as the book. And I feel like in this case, the film takes itself a little more seriously than the book does. And the film is perhaps more critical of Bernadette than the book is. I feel like the book is a bit more understanding and you have sympathy and empathy for her. Whereas in this one, you kind of just feel a bit sorry for her. Um, and then, yeah, Sue, um, Sue Lynn, the 
um, assistant has a bigger role to play. And I, I feel a little bit like um, LG has a bit more of a role in the book than he does in the film. I understand that the film was probably tight on time and just really wanted to zone in on Bernadette and her relationship with the daughter and the trip to Antarctica, um, whereas the book had more time to explore the subplots. That's a totally valid reason for that happening. Um, but I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to see that kind of like catty, bitchy nature of his assistant. And you see it a little bit, you see like glimpses of it, but I really wanted them to open that up and explore that. But that's just my personal preference. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a lot more to say on the subject. I didn't come away from the film going, oh, that was amazing, I want to go and see it again. I kind of came away from the film going, oh, you know, I might read the book again, or I might read Today Will Be Different, which is right behind me there. Um, yeah, I don't think that they did an amazing job. I think they did an okay job. I don't think they got the tone quite spot on if you're looking for something that matches entirely. If you're coming to it as a film in its own right, then you'll definitely have something to take away from it. I personally, when I come to my movie reviews um, video talking about this one, would maybe say wait for it to come to streaming. But again, that's just my personal opinion. It's the second week of release and the cinema is full at midday on a Wednesday. So they must be doing something right. Um, I hope you have enjoyed my hearing my thoughts on Where Do You Go Burn Deck book versus movie. As always, if there is a book to movie adaptation you would like to hear my thoughts on here, leave me a comment. I am always happy to go and read and watch on demand and then come and share my thoughts with you. Um, I am still thinking about whether to do a book versus movie on um, the Blinded by the Light movie versus the memoir. So again, let me know in comments if that's something you'd be interested in. I will be back with another movie video for you on Sunday and more bookish content next week, including my readathon vlog. So that's gonna be fun. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed so that those land in your subscription feed. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you on Sunday.